going on YouTube? My name is Jed and this is our vlog here at World of Reef in Longwood, Florida. We are a small local fish store. We are saltwater only. Um, and this is our week to week vlog. I'm trying to get as many as possible. I'm a full time college student, so it's a lot harder sometimes than I want it to be. Uh, but I'm going to have more videos coming out as soon as possible. So I hope you enjoy this one. As you can see, car full of boxes, just left Southwest Cargo and headed back to the store with our big fish shipment. Really couldn't tell you what is on this order because uh, we placed it later in their work week. Um, so I try to get the most, like I talked to the, our sales rep yesterday and she gave me the basics of what wasn't in here, but I really couldn't tell you what is in here. Uh, so I guess we'll find out when we get to the store and I'll see you guys there. Back in the shop, time to unbox, 10 boxes, acclimation time. All right, everyone is in the bins. Again, we are stocked. Uh, let me show you what you got. Yeah, clean up. So we also got a clownfish order this week. So you're gonna see a lot of clownfish. I'll walk you through those as well. Uh, you can see the big school, what'd we get? So we got some cool tangs. I got a nice four cool tangs, trio of Niger triggers, uh, rectangular trigger, magnificent, fox face, black color. Um, I think that's it for in there. Come down here, what do we have? A big Toby Puffer in the back. Uh, Valentini, there's a Singapore, a raccoon. <laughs> I kill you. That's all right. Uh, you can see we got some midnight clowns in here. Uh, I threw some rats. There's two really nice rasses in here that are currently hiding. Uh, rasses they bury a lot of time. Uh, powder blue. Uh, what are these? These are extreme misbar clownfish. Uh, you can see cleaner rats. Black oscillaris in the back. There's so many different clowns, I honestly forget what I got. Copper band, sail fin. A lot of snowflake, yep. and we have some frostbite, and... Gladiators, yeah. and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, copper band, where was it? I just saw him. I don't know. Um, there are gladiators. Royal Grandmas, really nice Royal Grandmas. They give me a nice size. We got some orange spotted file fish. We got three of them. Um, I wish I could show you the wrasses, but a lot of them are buried. Here's a little New Yoko wrass. Um, that's a really nice wrass. There's all the clowns. Jewel Danzel. Gold Lightning Maroon. I'm going to pair him with our snowflake eventually. Uh, Jewel Danzel. There's a velvet, another Nyoko. Look how big this Royal Grandma is. He's massive. There's a flame back right there. Come on, a little Naso. Blue line trigger. Sweet Oriental Sweet Lips. This is the cool tank. Another cool tank. Flag fin, gray puma. Massive arc eye hawkfish. Like maybe the biggest I've ever seen. Cleaner ass, uh, Lieutenant Tanetti Tang, paired fish. Look how cool this thing is. He's got a little sum sum on there, but we got a cleaner ass in there. He'll take care of it. We got some captive bred look downs, pink square. This is maybe the coolest thing we got in this order. Trumpet fish. I mean, this thing is, this is badass. This is a cool fish. Come down here, another magnificent fox face. Queen trigger. Yeah. Queen trigger. We've had, I mean, a lot of doubles. Cool tails. Freckled hawk. Finally got cocoa worms in. I have not been able to find cocoa worms in forever, but we finally got them. Where are they at? Right down there. No, I was looking up for the guys up here. That's Leopard the, rest. just got in there, so we gotta wait and see him acclimate. The other one buried, we'll see. There he is. there's one of them. See his little head poking out? I know the other one's kinda, you can maybe see him through there. 
got a garden eel somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So you can see he's poking his little head out. We got two garden eels in here. Ruby red dragonettes, red scooters. Um, radiata lionfish, the thing is beautiful. Very active. Look at that. Right off the bat, in acclimation, he was active. Beautiful. Which is unusual for these guys. This is the snowflake maroon I want to pair him with, pair the uh, gold lightning with. Another big snowflake. Bunch of different wrasses. Bunch of different wrasses. Did you put the sea moth in here? Yeah. Wait, yeah, 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 there yeah. he is. Another sea moth. Um, diamond gobies. Six, uh, six bar or hard wiggy wrasse, bella goby, yellow watchmans, some mandarins. A couple of little mitises too, I think. Yeah, there's a couple mitises. The six bar wrasse. Orange flank wrasse. Thing is gorgeous, exquisite wrasse. Uh, there's a couple of little mitises back there. Another bella goby. And pipefish. And another mystery wrasse. This is a really nice one, really nice size on them. And that's it for this order. Another great order. We did have one DOA. It was a lantern puffer. Um, I was really excited for that one because that was a dwarf puffer that we haven't gotten yet. Um, but everything looks good. I think we've got it under control with the fighting now. We've moved a bunch of things around, but I think space wise and where everything is now, I think we're good to go. bacterial dip. It looks like it might be a little bacterial infection on the face. He probably was rubbing at some point on stuff. We'll get it cleaned up. Usually the Melifix works really well in a bath with a bubbler for about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, the gold belly, um, the gold belly uh, puffer that I had in here had a really bad infection going on where he had a film all over his face. Two dips with the Melifix. He's fine, up happy, not tucking his tail anymore. Yeah, so again, we're trying to take care of the fish as much as possible before they go home. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. I hope you guys come in and see what we got in person. Um, yeah. So you can see the garden eels a little more. This guy's kind of burying under the rocks, but you can see the tail of this one back there. He was swimming around for a bit. There he is behind the sea apple. Um, but a little bit of garden eels, they are completely reef safe. Um, they're one eel you can pretty much put in your reef tank and not have to worry about it eating fish. Um, they're not really going to knock anything over. You do probably need a deeper sand bed with them because they do like to bury in the sand. Uh, I don't know if you there he is. I don't know if you've ever been to an aquarium. You'll see a tank of them and they're always buried and they kind of hide and everything. Um, so that's something to keep in mind with them. They're really tough because they eat plankton and much smaller, smaller invertebrates. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind with them. Um, pods as well. Um, but they're just they're a cool eel if you get the chance to have some I mean this is a tank that I've always wanted um, That's why I ordered them just because I like to look at them again. It's perks of doing the fish orders but uh, garden eels little little facts Right now So right now I'm fragging up these cypastria grates so we had actually bought these from another store um, like at our store, you'll see stuff is growing all over the grates. So when the store was closing down, we bought the grates from them. Um, so now I'm just cutting these grates out. We've let them grow onto some tiles. So I'm taking them off the tiles. Tiles are now gonna go and just grow into the tiles so it's easier to frag. But this grate, I'm gonna chop them up and make them into little like $20 frags. So, yeah. It's all sprung out. So I'm um, closing up for today and can you see it? It's getting there. I just added a little bit. I'm adding more, but quick here is into the tanks. I know I've shown this a billion times after one, but I just want to, I just want to keep giving you guys confidence in us that we do this every time. There you go. You can see it. Um, Cause I don't want to say stuff and then not do it. Like when we get a shipment in quick here is going in the system. Today's actually the day after we got the shipment, 
I did it last night, didn't record it, but we're doing it two nights in a row just because it was a lot of fish because um, we got that clownfish order earlier in the week. Um, so just doing it twice back to back just to, just to be safe. Uh, so just again, showing you guys process and uh, that we really do try to get these guys in as good a condition as possible. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm trying to get as many videos out as I possibly can. Um, I got another one coming up really soon. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment what you thought, comment what you wanna see more from the store. Uh, hit the subscribe button so you can see any of our videos, our new fish shipments coming in so you can keep updated on our stock and just what's going on, how we're expanding. Um, again, hit the subscribe button, comment, like it, share it. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time.